It's your boy Silas Do Good, and you're on Black Wall Street. Boo, black owned and operated. So today we're gonna talk about the Confederate flag. But before we get into that, I wanted to address a word called ignorance. So ignorance is defined in the dictionary as lacking knowledge, information, or awareness about a particular subject. So when you become comfortable in ignorance, it's a hard thing to dispel because you've made it a part of your belief system. And it is a very, very hard thing to let go. So it's not, it's a negative connotation that people place on that word, but it really isn't. It just means that you don't have enough information, awareness and knowledge of what you believe in, okay? So let's get to the Confederate flag. So the Confederacy began in 1860 to 61 and they succeeded from the Union because of what the adverse effect of, ab of the abolition of slavery would mean to their economy. So they fought four bloody years over the issue of slavery and its economic impacts to the Southern economy. So the Confederate flag does represent slavery. And, they f and the Southern states for four years fought over that way of life. And that way of life meant the enslavement of blacks. So you have to remember at that time, blacks were only considered property, three fifths of a man. So the hate, the bigotry and the racism was seared into the Southern conscience over generations. So that flag does represent that. And having fought and lost a war and then having to be forced to watch your property enjoy your equal freedoms and equal rights hard pill to swallow so you know uh, blacks at that time were considered inferior uh, the inferior race and that was 160 years ago and that sentiment sadly persists stubbornly persists to this day 160 years later people still want to claim that that is their heritage that isn't heritage that is racism bigotry and just hatred that's sewn and woven into that flag we teach history in our schools so we can learn from our mistakes and not repeat them again this we don't wrap ourselves in a traitor's flag and then erect statues so we can memorialize them and celebrate the darkest time in our nation's history. We don't do that, okay? It's ridiculous. The statues that you that you see that are being torn down all across these all across this nation, they weren't put up in the Confederate era. No, they were put up in the Jim Crow era to teach Negroes their place in society. Okay, so we don't celebrate those things. Memorializing something versus remembering something is two different things. Ask yourself, if the traitor's flag was not about hatred, why then does the KKK and white supremacists unify under it? And moreover, if you're not for hate, bigotry, and racism, then why aren't you out there denouncing those groups when they hijack your heritage? Okay, I'll answer that for you. Either you're ignorant, like we learned earlier, that word, or you support it. So I just don't understand where that go where that's going. Now, I don't see the fervor that you have for denouncing these groups that you do when it comes to um, saying, hey, you can't attack the, you know, the traitor's flag. You know, you guys put up such a stink on the internet about when someone removes the Confederate flags or bans it from NASCAR. I see you guys online like it's nobody's business. But when it comes to the white supremacists or the, or the uh, KKK out here, you know, marching and doing whatever, I don't see the same fervor. Let me be clear about one thing. The traitor's flag has been a flag for losers since 1865. So embrace the Union Jack and swear allegiance, the same allegiance that you want blacks to have to a flag while standing for a national anthem that's supposed to represent equality and justice for all. You show absolute 
disdain and contempt for anyone who wants to protest or kneel protesting that flag while you're wrapped in another. That doesn't make any sense. That's the very definition of ignorance. And this nation needs to have a serious conversation right now about race and, and facing uncomfortable truths. We have to have the in, intestinal fortitude to do so. So that's my take on the Confederate flag or the traitor's flag as I call it. You guys have a good day. Talk to you later.